Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Today I want to talk about the meaning behind the song Due Vite by Marco Mengoni, the winner of Sanremo 2023 and the Italian entry for Eurovision this year. There are many different layers uh, of meaning to the lyrics, which is why I like them very, very much. And I will be highlighting these different aspects. And I also think that the song has a very natural progression through the stages of grief when a relationship ends. And I will talk about that as well. So let's get right to it. The first part of the lyrics I want to show you are the very first lyrics in the song. And they are setting the stage for what is to come. We are the only ones awake in the universe, and I don't know your desert well yet. Maybe it is in a part of my heart where the sun is always turned off. So you can already see the stage is set, two people and lots of negative imagery. A desert, um, the light of the sun in his heart is turned off, so there's trouble happening at the moment in this relationship. Let's go on. There's also no conversation in the relationship anymore because Marco Mengoni sings, I should call you and tell you how I feel, but I am done with the excuses and I don't have a defense anymore. And you know that your relationship is in trouble when you can't talk to each other anymore. So very strong imagery here as well. I'm saying strong imagery and there are lots of different strong images in this song, for example, we are a book on the sidewalk in an empty house that feels like ours and later on music doesn't reach this place. So it's very strong to call your relationship a book on the sidewalk that someone left there or lost there and it's kind of starting to be torn apart and also a house, an empty house that seems like ours. So no, not a lot of feeling left. I guess, and if the music doesn't reach you anymore, you are really in trouble as well. And then there are lots of images of couples, of a couple fighting. For example, coffee with lemon against a hangover, you seem like a blurred picture, because all of these images of the couple fighting are from nights out which you can see here, and we wasted another night outside a bar, fighting, they're not enjoying their life, they are fighting outside a bar. And then we are the only ones awake in the whole universe, shouting a bit of rage on a roof. And you see a couple here fighting all the time, not enjoying their life and being out with their friends probably, but standing outside a bar and a club and on a roof, fighting about whatever it is, but they are in real trouble. So next, um, it's an interesting song because Marco Mengoni is very much blaming the other party for what is happening. He's not taking a lot of responsibility, which I find uh, quite interesting. So he sings, if this is the last song and then the moon explodes, I will be there telling you, you are wrong and you know it. Wow very strong. You're the one who is destroying this relationship. I don't have a lot to do with it. I find that really, really interesting. And then all the running and the slaps and the mistakes you make when something annoys you. So again, it's the other person destroying this relationship and kind of being a choleric character kind of attacking his personality because he's always getting agitated about something or she, I'm saying he, but maybe it's she. Um, so quite interesting and very strong also against the partner and the other person. So the next thing is anger. And you see that in the performance by Marco Mengoni, it starts quite slow. He's talking about the troubles in the relationship and then there's a crescendo where he's really almost screaming uh, very emotionally during the song. And this is where the anger comes out against the other person wronging him. Mm -hmm. Apart from the craziness that dances in all things, two lives look what a mess. So he's angry about what is happening. And then he repeats the chorus about the moon exploding and um, the song not reaching them 
also in a very strong way. And then after anger comes, you have seen it already, acceptance. He sings the turns that two lives take, two lives. And this is when Marco is at the very end of the performance, mm -hmm. the crescendo part is over and he's looking at the camera very emotionally and he's saying this. And I feel like it's like, look at what our lives turned out, look at what this relationship turned out to be, how sad it is to be like this. So he's not angry at the person anymore, now he's just sad about the general situation. So I really like all the different parts in the lyrics that put the mess that uh, transmit the message, f find it really well done and well written, and it can it goes completely with the performance, which makes it even more powerful. What do you think? Do you like the lyrics as much as I do? Or do you have a different interpretation? Please let me know. By the way, the tr uh, translation I did myself, <laughs> and my Italian is not that great, so if there's some problems, please let me know, um, and I'm sorry, but that's as good as it gets. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos on lyrics of Eurovision entries, reviews, ratings on Eurovision 2023 and on Eurovision history, please follow and subscribe. Bye-bye.